Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to it. You guys asked to see all of my iPad accessories and Apple Pencil accessories, so here we are showing you guys all that. Just before we start, I will have all of these accessories linked below for you guys. Most of them are from Amazon, so they'll be on my Amazon storefront that you can order from, and that is an affiliate link, so anything that you order off there, I just get a small percent of the purchase at no extra cost for you guys, so it's a win-win. It supports me. It gets you nice little cases. But yeah, don't forget to shop off of that. I love that. Amazon is amazing, and it comes in super fast if you have Amazon Prime. <laughs> All right, there's not anything else really much to say, so let's just jump right into this. <laughs> So first thing is my screen protector. You guys ask me so much about my screen protector. When I first unboxed my iPad, I talked about possibly getting a paper-like screen protector for my iPad. I just hadn't had any time to order it, so I put that off for a while. But recently, Paperlike reached out to me, and now we are collaborating together. So going off of that, this video is, in fact, in collaboration with Paperlike. <laughs> so I have the 11-inch iPad Pro, and I have the Paperlike screen protector that goes along with that. The Paperlike screen protector is something that I would definitely recommend if you guys have an iPad. They have them for all sizes of iPads, so it's perfect if you don't have the iPad Pro. Um, you can get it for any type of iPad. This screen protector is already on my iPad. I applied it a couple days ago in a vlog earlier, so I won't be applying it for you guys, but I'll show you guys how it works. So if you don't know, the Paperlike screen protector is a screen protector that feels and sounds like you're writing on paper when you're writing on your iPad. So instead of that glassy feel that kind of like makes your Apple Pencil feel weird when you're writing, you can write on it with your Apple Pencil and it feels just like paper, which is absolutely amazing because I actually really like writing on paper with my my pencils and pens and I got the iPad so I could take notes on it and get rid of most of my paper usage as a student so having this paper like screen protector definitely helps with my notes as well as just design you also get a lot more control of your Apple pencil while writing or sketching or drawing due to the paper like resistance and roughness this then makes the Apple pencil so much more enjoyable on your iPad <laughs> when you do place an order with paper like you get two screen protectors just so you know I for some reason thought I would only get one but you do get two so that's super nice and it makes the price not look as scary because you know you're getting too. Also, a lot of people ask me about whether the paper-like screen protector wears down the tip of my Apple Pencil, and it definitely does not. If anything, I felt like my Apple Pencil tip was wearing down a lot faster without the paper-like screen protector, just on the normal iPad, so I don't know. You guys can have your own opinion, but for me personally, I have not noticed it wearing down my Apple Pencil tip, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are interested in getting a paper-like screen protector, I have a link down in the description for you guys to go buy one if you're interested. Seriously, it is such a good investment, I promise. Next, we'll move on to my Magic Keyboard. I get a lot of questions about this Magic Keyboard. I have made two videos about my Magic Keyboard. I had an unboxing and then I did a review. So if you have any questions about the Magic Keyboard, please go watch those two videos first because I know those answer a lot of common questions. So make sure you go watch those. But yeah, I do have this. I haven't really used it much because I haven't been in school. My college classes ended a couple weeks ago. So I haven't really had much use for it yet, but I know in the fall when I go back, I will be using it a lot for all my notes. <laughs> it's seriously so nice that way. It literally just snaps on and it's ready for use automatically you don't have to mess with any Bluetooth so that's what I really love about it it's not that heavy very cute love it sleek Apple design and yeah I talk a lot about this in the other videos so we're not gonna spend too much time on this next we have this case this is the first case that I ever got for my iPad so that's exciting it's just this cute little teal and black iPad case I really like it because it has this little slot right here for the Apple pencil so that's super nice, but the only thing is that I did recently get a cover for my Apple Pencil, which I'll show you in a minute. So with that cover on, it doesn't fit in here, but that's still okay because it still has room to like snap on top, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so it's not that big of a deal. I really like this one personally because it has these little grooves right here to sit in and like lean up against. I find it kind of hard to lean up against like that on this case, but again, I'll show you that one in a minute. But yeah, I really like the color of this one. Nothing else related to say about this one. I might add some stickers to it. I don't know. I really like it. Speaking of stickers, I am hoping to make a bunch of stickers and start selling them on my Etsy at some point. I'm looking into that and how to print them, so I'll let you guys know when I have that set up, but once I do, I'm going to be putting all my stickers that I create on this, so yeah. <laughs> Next case, this is my only other case so far. I only have this one, the Magic Keyboard, and this one so far. I'm looking into getting some more. They just don't really have that many like cute design ones yet for the iPad since it's kind of new. But this case kind of has like the folding trifold thing here where you can like set it up as a block against it and everything like that. <laughs> but this one's just a plain black. I got the plain black so that it would match my little apple sleeve thing, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I really like this one. I say that this one is definitely the most protective out of the two actual cases that I have. Just because it's like a little bit more bulky around the edges and on the power buttons and everything. But 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else really to say about them. They're really just plain old cases, so yeah. But yeah, also, your mid-video reminder, everything shown in this video will be linked below for you guys, so make sure that you go check those out if you're interested. Next, I do have the Apple Pencil, and I recently got a sleeve for it, so my Apple Pencil is the Generation 2 Apple Pencil, and it's compatible with my iPad Pro from 2020. I have not gotten any replacement tips yet because I really haven't needed one, <laughs> but I am looking into getting some from Apple just to have for extras. But yeah, I did buy just a plain black Apple Pencil cover. I bought this because, actually one of you guys told me in the comments that I should get one because after a while of putting the Apple Pencil, attaching it to the side of the iPad, like this, um, without the cover it kind of like clicks it super hard and someone said that after a while of doing that It ruins the aluminum on the side of the iPad right here, and it starts to look really ugly So thank you to whoever said that I don't really remember But um, you guys are really saved to the look of my iPad because I would hate it if it got all scratched up so I would advise getting one of these just because of that reason um, It also makes it a little easier to hold and it doesn't fall out of my hand so much Because I actually did have the problem of it slipping right out of my fingers or I would have it just sitting on the side of my iPad and I would pick up my iPad and it would fall on the ground and I'm like, oh no, my $130 pencil just fell on the ground. So it's super nice just for that extra protection. <laughs> also, the covers are super cheap. You can find them on Amazon. There are lots of different cute ones, like some that actually look like real pencils and other things. So go and look at all those. I just wanted plain black so that it would match my black case, but yeah. My last little accessory, I have this little thing. I think it's so cute. Um, the one thing that I was worried about is when I first got my iPad my case didn't come in for a good week after I bought it so I was so scared because every time I would lay it down on a surface the camera has popped out so it would lay flat on the camera and I was so scared of somebody like trying to drag the iPad around or move it from across the table and it's scratching up the camera so I was looking on Amazon and I found these cute little glass protectors for your cameras so I think that's so nice I am going to try this out we're actually gonna put it on right now in this video because I haven't put one on yet so let's do that <laughs> cleaning wipes are. They're so cute. <laughs> right over the cameras like it doesn't make a little hole around the camera just so you guys know it does have like a little cutout hole for um, the flash but other than that that's how that works it was super easy to apply really quick now I'm going to test the camera out and see what it looks like and if that messed up the quality or anything I think it's still like really good I don't know about you guys I really don't think that affected it at all so I am so glad to have this on this thing now that is so helpful no more stressing out when I have to lay it down like this anymore okay I'm gonna put this back in the case just to see what it looks like with the little screw protector popping out of there I'm assuming it would still fit but oh yeah Oh, that's perfect! Okay, so this case obviously already had a little bit of protection around the camera, but yeah, it still fits with this case at least, so yay, I'm so excited about that. That honestly relieves so much stress. I have been so worried about accidentally cracking this glass camera, and now I have a little screen protector on it. It's so cute, so yay! <laughs> if you guys know of any good places to buy iPad cases, let me know. I am looking for some cute ones rather than just plain black, so let me know on that in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, don't forget to go check out Paper Lake Screen Protectors. Seriously, I love their screen protectors so much. Seriously, if there's one thing that you buy out of this whole video, it should be that because those are seriously my favorite accessory out of all of this so far. Okay guys, that wraps up all of my iPad accessories. But yeah, if you guys want to see any other accessories from any of my other products like my MacBook or my iPhone or something, let me know and I'll try and make some videos on that. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.